Hello once again, uh, welcome on my new video A new video for my YouTube channel So last uh, video we have talked about the 8 important things that a trader should avoid yeah. And if you apply those 8 things You can gain a good discipline huh, when it comes to trading So right now this is also a, a very important topic that I have to discuss to you because I mentioned in my previous video about uh, the entry, yes, the entry of the news. When the, there is an entry of the news, then we expect that there is a volatility in the market. What we means, but uh, what what we mean by uh, volatility, okay? The movement of the market or the candle is abnormal. So, for example, you have to see here, we have a candle with a long, very long week comes back and comes up again and comes down, closes at this point. Yeah. So, we expect or we assume that on this part or in this area, there will be a news release. Yeah. There will be a news, there, there is a news release because this is what it should not, this is what, what it should not be, uh, shown, yeah, on the chart. The normal thing is that there is no weeks, there is no big weeks, okay? So, this candle, when you see this one, this is an abnormal candle, yeah? So, we have to avoid this kind of trades, yeah? We have to avoid also this, yeah? When you see this, uh, dojis, dojis, when you see the market have uh, too much spikes, for example, here, here, too much spikes, you have to avoid those kind of trades, yeah? So, right now, I will teach you a one indicator, a one indicator that for sure will help you to determine that the market is going strong or going weak or preparing for a new trend, yeah? So, this is what we call a Bollinger Band, yeah? So, Bollinger Band, you have to go here. Yep, go to volatility, yes. Go to volatility and go to Bollinger Band. Yeah, so set the 14 period and deviation 2. So you will see, okay, you will see right here, there is what we call this uh, red, yeah, the red and the yellow. So this is, this is the levels or this is the, the location where the candles bounce. Yeah, but where the candles bounce, okay. So, as you can see, for example, here, okay, the candle goes down and it make a it made a spike, okay, on the yellow one, which is which is the edge or the below part of the Bollinger band, yeah. And after that, there will there is a retracement, yeah, there is a retracement, then going back, going down again. So, now, how can you determine that that the market? That the market is what we call is volatile okay so let's see okay first you have to see that the Bollinger band is squeezing yeah is squeezing so let let's find an example for example let's see let's see what I mean for the squeeze squeezing is that the the Bollinger band distance is getting is getting narrow and narrower yeah narrow and narrow yeah it's getting thin yeah okay so right here okay so as you can see from from this part from this part here the you can see that the bollinger band is squeezing yeah the distance is getting small getting small getting small and also the the candles are getting small yeah so what you should what you should uh you should wait for this one is there are two things yeah there are two things that you consider with this one there will be a new trend yes there will be a new trend or a continuation of trend or there will be a reversal or there will be a continu continuation of the trend so this Bollinger Band you can equip with this one with a what we call is I teach you before moving average yeah so let's go here once again, go to trend, then you have to select what is the moving average, yeah? Moving, moving average, 
Okay, uh, here, right here. So, go to moving average. Yes. And select EMA. Then select 200. Yes. 200. So, let's select blue one. Yeah. Then apply. Okay, so. So, now. So, now, as you can see here. As you can see here. There is a consolidation. Yeah. There is a consolidation. What I mean is, right here, the market condition is ranging. Why? The market is ranging because the exponential moving average is flat. Yeah? It's flat. And as you can see, as the candle goes, it breaks the 200 EMA and goes down, goes down again. Okay? So, you have two confirmation for this one. You have a flat flat moving average plus your Bollinger Band, yeah? The movement of your candle is now going down. So what you expect for this one? If, I mentioned before, if the candle is below the 200 moving average, it means that there will be a start or there is a downtrend, yeah? So if the candle breaks up, okay, breaks up, there will be an uptrend, yeah? Okay. So, so now, what happened to this situation? The candle goes down, it goes back again, retests the 200 EMA, and goes down. Okay? So, after the squeeze, after the squeeze, you will see some candles that have the same picture or the same color. For example, here, there is a red, followed by the red, and followed by the red. Yeah? And followed by the red. Okay, so when the Bollinger Band opens again, okay, the red and the yellow opens again, it means that there is a new trend, okay? There is a new trend or continuation. It depends on your trend, yeah? Because as I can, I, I mentioned, the moving average, the moving average is above the candle. So what you expect to the candle will go down, yeah? So, how can you confirm after the squeeze of the Bollinger Band? How can you confirm what is going on? You can confirm by using the exponential moving average if the candle will go up or the candle will go down. Okay, so what is the reason why he he stopped here? Yes, he stopped here and he traced back. He retraced up and goes back down. Yes, because what is the answer? The answer is you have a key level you have a support and resistance so where is it where is it we have to plot there here here is the support and resistance so this is the support level you see it's very clear it's very clear it's like a big spike going down and cannot break go up so what is the reason so now when the candle runs and he reaches that level so you see so you see the red touches the the uh, support level yeah support level but normally normally it will not go yeah normally for a continuation of trend there will be a re a retracement yeah a retracement what i mean is retracement there will be a retest for this kind of uh, trend okay some traders they are using this strategy when there is a new trend they are they are looking for a major key level just like what i wrote and they will trade on that location yes because they know that there will be a replacement there will be a green candle will go up and will go down further yes so it is very important that the bollinger band must be used in a proper way yeah you have to accompany it with an indicator but guys once again, do not trade with indicators. Yeah, You have to understand what's going on in the market. So, once again, I will repeat, there will be a ranging market because the EMA or the exponential moving average is flat. Then, when he comes here, he goes down and he wants to test he, the candle cannot break. Yes, the candle cannot break the, the exponential moving average and he goes down. He goes down. He goes down until such time that they cannot uh, break this level because 
they are below on the uh, EMA 200, so it goes down here. Okay? So, the final thought is volatility means this is the behavior of the candlestick. Yeah? When you boil a water, the molecules are very fast moving. Okay, so the the situation inside the inside the container is volatile or they are getting volatile. They move fast. Okay, they move fast, they move aggressive. Okay. So now uh, we will find again so here, okay, you see? You see some uh, squeeze here. Oh let's find some squeeze. Okay, you have to find okay, right here there is a squeeze again, yeah. So there is a squeeze again for the Bollinger Band, then it, uh, when it comes here, then it uh, opens, yeah, it opens. So first you have to see the trend is uh, downtrend because the candles are below. So expect that after the squeeze of the Bollinger Band, there will be a continuation, a trend continuation. So expect that the candles will be red, red, red until you hit what we call is the support level and the, he will he will retrace back okay the candles will retrace back and will retrace back again okay so i think i think you got something from this uh, video you have to remember guys that uh, reading in volatility is uh, very it's not advisable yeah for example you are trading for the, the short term it is not advisable because uh, every candle is every candle counts especially for binary options trader that's why it's a good uh, practice to avoid the news and to identify what is the volatility of the market so another information you can prove that the volat that the market is volatile when the candle is riding yeah when the candle is riding on the bollinger band so right now right here when the candle is riding on the bollinger band it means that this this trend or this minor trend because this is ranging yeah this is ranging so now it's going up riding on the what we call is riding on the what we call is the bollinger band and after that after the small scandal there will be an exhaustion candle here then it re it retreats back yeah it retreats back because there will be a final or the what we call is the power of the buyers are getting weak Okay, getting weak on the pressure the pressure is getting weak so this is the final power so this is the entry of the sellers now so always have a retracement for a new trend always have a retracement or correction so thank you guys for watching the video keep keep liking and subscribing and i hope uh, you can comment you can make a comment below the videos if you want something to cover up if you want something to clarify or topic to be discussed, you can comment on my video. So thank you very much.